problem number four from sheet number three this is a progression of line problem so here a straight line AB is 60 mm long so you have to find out some of the data which is two length theta and phi and position of end point okay so true length is 60 mm it is inclined to HP and VP by an angle of 30 degree so this is 30 degree and this is 45 degree is given to you point A is 30 mm above HP 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP so this data is given to you which is we already discussed in previous problems so first of all draw XY line now measure the distance this 30 and 20 to find out A dash and A point so uh, 30 mm above HP 30 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So this point is A dash and this point is A. Now you have to measure this 30 and 45 by using this true length. So for that you have to draw a reference lines from A dash and A. So distance this angle theta is 30 degree so you have to measure a 30 degree from this and true length is 60 mm true length is 60 mm so you have to construct a line of 60 mm long so this point this is not my final point so you have to uh, write down B1 dash so this is my intermediate point and I am using theta and true length which is 60 mm to construct this line same you have to project this line you have to project this B1 dash on this so this point is your B1 this point on this line this is your B1 now by using phi and true length you have to uh, draw a line from a so this angle is 45 degree we have already draw a reference line so this is a 45 degree and true length is 60 mm So this point is your B2 because this is not a final point as well. So intermediate point have to return like this. Draw projections on the line passing from A. Same thing. So this is your B2 dash. I have draw this line by using phi and true length. So I have used all the data which I have given in your in our problem which is true length theta phi and all the position of one end point now we need to construct uh, we need to find out uh, elevation length plan length and alpha and beta which are the apparent angles so for that you need uh, locus lines so you have to construct a locus line from b1 dash and from b2 and you have to write down the locus line over here so this locus means what locus of point b because on this line we can get anywhere our point b this is a locus of point B this is B dash because the top view is uh, over here so now 
by using a rounder we have to use rounder measure this b a a dash and b 2 dash a dash and b 2 dash measure this distance and make an arc like this up to this locus line same way from a to b 1 a to b 1 a to b 1 make an arc like this So this point which you got, this is your B dash and this point is B. Now intersect joint A dash and B dash which is your final front view of your line and AB like this. So this is my elevation length this is my plan length this is my alpha and beta they ask to draw the projection if they ask to calculate or the find the elevation length and plan length then you have to write down answer as a elevation length is equal to whatever let's measure it uh, it is around 41 it is around 43 so 43 mm is the elevation length same way this angle you have to measure a uh, plan length you have to measure and beta you have to measure from this direction so this is problem number four from sheet number three